Okay, let's go over today the page builder in Kartra. So what you want to do is when you log in, you'll see your, <clears throat> your dashboard. And on the left hand side, you're going to go to pages. You're going to go to my pages and you'll see your pages here. From here, um, you can edit the name. So you can go click on the three dots, edit. Um, let's just call this page Prism Mobile. And then it will probably take a few seconds to load, depending on how big or long your um, sales page is. So there are templates within Kartra, but you can obviously deploy the templates that you get um, from me or the custom coder. Um, that's on the team, but basically, so here's what it's going to look like. The, um, there's going to be sections. So right now I just want to kind of show you these top parts right here. So we have desktop, tablet, and mobile views, and then we have a column mode and a component mode. So those are going to be the two different modes we're going to be editing in. Um, more than likely you'll probably be in the component mode the most. That's where you're going to edit the text and the fonts, the font colors, and that's how you can move things around. When you get into the columns, that's where it's, it's pretty much like you would be able to delete this entire column, um, and delete entire pictures. It's basically, you know, based on like columns and like how wide they are on the page. Okay, but back to components. Okay, so components, you just click here. Um, typically, it will, like if you hover over it, you'll see the little T bar, so it's, or the T, the letter T, edit text. This is to edit the style. This is to clone, which basically means duplicate. And then this is like if you wanna move it, drag and drop type of thing. And then you can delete the entire thing here. So we can edit the text easily here. Um, you can edit the size. So line height is like basically the space, but this is the actual font size. So like line height is the space in between, I wanna say the next piece of um, design below it. And then again, bolding, underline, strike through, you can add bullets. Um, you can make this like a clickable link, all those things. And then for pictures, you can resize it here. You can clone this whole bar of pictures. You can also edit the style. When you click on edit style, basically you can import another image. You can make the image opaque or blur it. And then you could also link the image to somewhere else um, outside of Kartra or on Kartra as well. And then you could also put some sort of like effects or animation. Okay, so those are the basics there. Um, I think what you're probably going to want to do is swap out pictures um, inside the templates of the sales page. So you can do that here. But again, you just, all you'd have to do is click on edit style and then swap it out from there. You can also duplicate and save sections. So when you hover over a section, there's, there's gonna be a little gear here. So this is section two. You can save these sections. Um, and this is what I would do, save all the sections on your sales page. So that way you can always come back and add another section that looks like this exact one if you want. Or you could just, I like to use it as a way to just rearrange different things. So I like to save all the sections in the sales page templates first. So that way I can, you know, if I delete something for any god awful reason, I know that everything's saved. Okay, and again, you, you just hover over this. Typically, if you click on it, it should, I think I have an installed Chrome extension here, um, which basically just helps, you know, if you click on it, 
goes into edit mode right away. But if it doesn't do that for you, just go to the T and then it will go to edit. Um, the buttons, you can obviously link to another page. You just, we would have to create another Kartra page for the tripwire for this or for the cart for this particular page. But again, you can link any button to another page. You can change the style, the font, the text on it, the alignment, um, all that stuff. Okay, so when you're in component mode, you can click over to components here and you can add in, these are like the different size columns that you can add. Headlines, text, buttons, accordion, images, mock-up comp compositions, etc. So just make sure if you want to add a component, you're just in the component mode. And then if you were to say add a section, um, you can see in the favorite blocks, all of the sections that we saved already. So that's how you can just like re-add another section and change things around if you want to do that. Um, you can also, you would have to, so say you want to add a section, you'd have to add an empty block first. You just basically drag it and drop it. And then you can go back here. You'd have to add a column. So go back into columns. Um, let's just say it's 100%. You know, we want it to go across the majority of the page. And then you can go back into sections, get your block, and then drop your block here. Um, it didn't do that for me, but yeah, for if you wanted to add a component, you'd have to add this. Um, you'd have to add a column first. So hopefully that makes sense, but we'll, we can just always delete that. <laughs> delete, delete. This is just basically like duplicated. So delete. So that's how you delete sections. Um, and again, for these, I'm just going to save them all. So we have them saved as templates and we can always build our page back up from here and i think that's pretty much what i wanted to show you all of these are pictures so these can be changed um yeah and we can we can totally take this out too um, since it's a sales page i don't necessarily want people clicking on different things. Um, but again, for, so you can go into settings though. You can change the SEO parameters, the page title. We can add tracking codes for our Facebook ads. So that's where you put the pixel there. We can tag this page and we can also make a redirect. So the SEO parameters, um, if you wanted to put an image, I think most people skip that step. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah, just make sure to click apply at the very end. Um, and then, you know, save progress. You can publish it live. And then when you're done, you can just return to the dashboard. I'm just going to save this progress. All right, let me know if you have questions.